Hey friends, if you love photography and like to sell your photos and videos online, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon and turn on all the notifications so that you never miss any video guides from the Teaching Doc channel. And here I come. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Arindam and you are watching the Teaching Doc. And couple of days back, I made a video in Hindi regarding how to efficiently manage your files in stock photography. Now I made a promise in that video that there are, if there are enough requests in the comment section, I will make a video in English. So here it is. Now the thing is, when you are starting new in stock photography, you may have a small amount of files then it's very easy for you to keep track which photos you have uploaded and which videos or graphics you have been that have been approved and which ones you need to upload but as the ball starts rolling and especially if you're uploading in more than one agency then with a few thousand files it may soon get very intimidating and frustrating and confusing all right at some point of time it was very difficult for me to keep track for my own files so I follow a certain thing which I'll share with you today and so let's get right to it. Well, the first thing that I do is I keep all my files, photos, videos, whatever I want to upload in my external hard drive. As you can see, this is my computer, C, D and E are my hard internal HDD hard disk drives of my solid state drive and the external hard drive 4 terabyte is my external HDD all right and you can see in this hard drive I have made a folder 001 stock photos why I have made this name 001 because it helps to rearrange the folders and 001 name will appear at the first okay because this is literally the most accessed folder in my hard drive and number two I keep them all in my external hard drive because I can travel and then I can still upload using someone else's computer wherever I like alright because the key to get regular sales as I always keep telling you is to upload your files daily. Now as I go into this folder I have made two sections alright the main one is original images alright and number two is uploaded all right now you can see there are three uploaded folders specifically year wise it helps me to keep track okay of what photos i did and it helps in my improvement i can look into those old photos and i can think and rethink how i can improve them so it happens so you can see uploaded 2018 these are the projects on which i worked in 2018 all right in 2019 these are the ones i uploaded in 2019 there's a lot okay I kick started my portfolio in 2019 I hugely improved it the number of content and in 2020 it has been a very busy year all right especially to the COVID-19 situation I work in hospital and I have got a small baby of six months so it has not been that much compared to 2019 yet so in 2020 I added 3d renders to my inventory okay I uh, created some 3d images using Autodesk Maya I uploaded them not very much good result from them so i'm not doing it anymore but what i'm doing and i always do is click photos all right so in click photos i have uh, made two folders one is commercial and one is editorial so i have added all my commercial images with model releases in this folder and editorial i have added the photos which are mainly street photos which i have i was unable to get any model release in this all right so let us first tell you what I do with my original images so in original images what I can or need to do is I first decide that okay now you can see there are so many things that are still left okay to upload there are literally thousands of photos and I don't have time to upload all of them literally I swear if I had uploaded all of them it would have got me much more than what I'm earning right now and what earnings I share with you. Anyways, that's a story of something else some day. Okay, another day. So, for example, this folder maternity shoot. Okay, so definitely my model is my wife and myself in this case. So, first thing I do is I edit my photos in Lightroom okay and if you have been editing in Lightroom I make the basic correction and sometimes in Photoshop you already know that when you export you can give an option where that export 
items are stored in the same folder and an untitled export folder is name for the folder is given okay you can choose any way to export the thing is i first keep my edited images in this folder okay so suppose i have chosen three images to upload today these three i have edited and now these three are ready to upload okay now i add titles and keywords and descriptions using xpix okay that's an ftp software you can use adobe bridge you can use photoshop lightroom but i prefer xpix i have made detailed videos about xpix and when the titles keywords and descriptions have been added i use xpix the same software to upload them all at once to all the agencies then comes the tricky part okay and there rise the importance of the uploaded folder now you must be knowing by now that shutterstock rejects almost all bad looking images okay and even if your images are good looking shutterstock is capable enough to reject even good looking images all right but believe me shutterstock is the main seller for me and if you are a new stock photographer it will be the main seller for you also okay so make sure your most of the content is approved and online in shutterstock only so after you have uploaded all those photos you now wait for your photos to be approved or rejected so i'll give you an example so i first uploaded all of these photos okay these are my photos and as i told you i keep the model release in the same folder all right then i make two folders okay i make one folder which says rejected at shutterstock rejected at ss you can see and also i make another folder rejected at getty all right you can make another folder rejected at adobe stock quite frankly my adobe stock account is blocked right now so i don't want to talk about adobe stock i am still waiting till they unblock my account but the agency i care the most about is shutterstock so i make it a point that those photos which are rejected in shutterstock i simply cut them and paste it over here so that i can have an idea that these photos are rejected if they look fine to me i upload them after one to two weeks if you upload them immediately they'll again be immediately rejected okay so the chances are if you upload them a few days later a different reviewer will look into your photos if they are actually good photos then it will be accepted okay i do the same thing for getty images unluckily for this series more images were rejected in getty okay maybe due to some logos or something which i didn't notice anyway so this is what i do i follow up these two websites only and i make sure every photo that i upload are approved or not in these two agencies shutterstock and i stock that is get images but in all other agencies i simply don't care whether they are approved or rejected i don't spend that much effort in reuploading to them but i always make it a point to reupload my work in shutterstock and get images after few files are rejected now regarding model release why i keep them in the same folder especially for get images you need a separate model release for every shoot out all right suppose these are the images series of images that i shot in one single day so these this model release will do for all of these series all right but if i upload another series this same model release will not do so i have another model release signed to that different date and i will upload with these series all right now even if you are uploading in shutterstock it's fine in get image it's fine but the problem lies if you start uploading in many more agencies especially if you start out with shutterstock and i stock or adobe stock and then after four or five months you start uploading in all other agencies then believe me keeping this model release in same folder helps you a lot what i recommend for beginners is you start your work in shutterstock and i stock or adobe stock you first test your how your files are selling for the first 3 or 4 months then you start uploading in all other agencies because quite frankly if you start uploading in agencies which don't sell much you will be demoralized suppose for example i am telling you in deposit photos or in pond5 files don't sell as high as shutterstock all right so you will be simply thinking that i cannot sell my photos no definitely you can sell your photos and for that you need to upload in shutterstock and i stock or get images so that's it that's what i do and i think that you can do the same also if you have got a huge online cloud storage if you don't live in india frankly speaking where i live 
it's very tough to download all the files from cloud and keeping them in cloud storage number one because the cloud storages are expensive and number two the internet connection is not very good where i live okay definitely cloud storage is a very good option you can keep the same folder organization in cloud space but what i do is i keep them in a hard drive external hard drive and you can do the same and please let me know in the comment section if you are using any other method for managing your files for stock photography so that's it for today's video thanks guys for watching this video till now if you have not skipped this video after a minute and if you're watching till now you need to enter the code management in the comment section so bye guys please share this video with your friends photographers and cousins who like to click photos and who would be great so guys please share this video with your friends photographers and cousins who love photography and help them to sell their photos so that together we can make a strong community of stock photographers. I thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye and take care.